There you go, look at the tap root on that one. There you go, is this close enough to hand feeding? Mo, what are you doing? You need to stay on that side of the fence. The grass isn't greener on the other side. Yeah, maybe it is. Well, it is almost officially spring now. I think, what is it? Is it March 21st, 22nd, somewhere in there is officially spring. So we're like a week away. It is coming soon. And like usual, I don't think I'm completely repaired or repaired. I'm completely prepared for spring. So maybe we can do something about that today. So this here is all the wood chips that we made in our last video. And I'm gonna to try to use these to mulch the rest of our orchard. I think we've got eight more fruit trees out here that we need to spread this on. So I just finished mulching the orchard and that used up the rest of my wood chips. And we've got a total of 18 fruit trees in the orchard. We've got a row of blueberries right here. And then back over here, this mess is all blackberries through here, except for this. This is actually like a black walnut tree right here. And I believe I cut it off at another time and I must've not killed the stump because now there's like like six black walnut trees coming out of here. So I'm gonna go ahead and use a tree puller to pull out those walnut trees, but I think it may be tougher than it looks just because I know it has been cut off. So I believe the roots are probably a decent size.
that root was big. Like that was over, way. Look over here. Oh yeah. Tore up the yard a little bit, didn't we? So when we planted these blackberries, we put them inside of like a four by eight raised bed, and you can see I ripped that out of the ground um, when I pulled out that tree. It, but that was like back in 2017. This is really starting to rot anyway. So we'll just go ahead and pull the raised bed portion out and uh, get rid of it. And then we're gonna clean out these blackberries. So the canes that set fruit last year, they're all dead, like brittle, dead. We're gonna pull all those out. All of the canes that still have color, that's gonna be the fruiting canes from this year. So hope that makes sense. We're just gonna pull out last year's canes. Nice break right off. All right, we got all the old canes out. Definitely is a lot thinner now that we did that. So from the way I remember it, of blackberries, it's like a two-year cycle on these tame blackberries so the the ones that grew brand new last year the ones that put on fruit this year and the new ones that'll sprout this year will be next year's fruit so it's always like a two-year cycle on the canes so another thing i need to do is get seeds started for the garden i need to get some plants growing for the garden i haven't done anything for that yet but last what was it like last October, November, I did get chestnut seeds, chestnuts, and I put those in the refrigerator to cold stratify, and they should be ready to be planted. So let's pull them out of the refrigerator and see what those chestnuts look like. And that is three containers full of chestnuts right there. So this is just moistened peat moss, and in here, should be chestnuts that have little tap roots growing on them. Can you see the little tap root? When you see that tap root come out of the chestnut, it is ready to be planted. So these should be ready to go. I forgot how many is in each one of these. And be careful not to break the tap root off. There you go. Look at the tap root on that one. Can you see how far that root is coming out? Definitely ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and gather stuff up so we can get these planted. All right, I found all of my pots. Hopefully that is enough. It actually might not be enough. So I'm just using regular potting soil for this, nothing special. So these are, I think like 0.6 gallon pots. I buy these off of Amazon. And most of these are actually reused from previous years. Oh, I mean, look at that one. That's pretty rough shape. Still work. So I'm just going to take the chestnut and basically put it in the top and just barely cover it up. And I'm just going to make sure that the tap root is pointing down. So when you cold stratify these in the refrigerator, you take that peat moss and you get it somewhat damp. You don't really want to like wring water out of it, but you don't want it to be dry. And I think I, I had it too wet this year because I've had several, that's a chestnut, but you can't see it because it has a fungus on there and all that potting soil, all that peat moss is stuck to it. And you can see once you start peeling it off, it has a white fungus like underneath there. And that's a bad chestnut. It just kind of gets a fungus on it and it's bad. And I think I've had, I think I've had about six out of that container. So that's a pretty high rate. So I ended up having six bad, but I had 11 good in that container. So that ended up being somewhere around one third of them went bad. 
So that's that's not very good. I've had like 99, 98% success rate in the past, but obviously I don't think this year is gonna be as good. So you can see, I don't know if I can ring it. There's water coming out of it, you see that? Yeah. It's too wet. So when you break this open, the chestnuts should come out like clean. You can see the chestnuts nice and clean. Those you know are gonna end up being good. I wanna find a bad one. Oh, here's a bad one right there. It's all clung together, that dirt and everything's all clung together and inside of there is a chestnut that's all got white fungus on it. Bad. Here's that one's bad. You can see it. That one's bad too. Good. Yep, you can just tell the ones that are good there, they come out clean. Just gonna lay them out and then we'll bury them. So I ended up with a total of 65 chestnuts planted. We had 14 that were bad, total of 79 chestnuts that we started off with. Um, and they'll probably be, we'll probably lose a few more before it's over with. Not every one of these is gonna germinate. So the way this will work, that tap root that you saw, that will continue to grow down. And then in a few weeks, the, the trunk of the tree or the main plant of the tree will come up. So we're not gonna see any top growth probably for you know three or four weeks. And then we'll have a better idea of what our true success rate's gonna be this year. Well, it's starting to get late now. So we're gonna go ahead, head out to the barn and do the evening chores. And we'll check on Rebecca's baby lambs while we're out there. Mm -hmm. Watch out chickens, where'd you lay your eggs? There's probably an easier way to get up there. <laughs> All right, I got two back here. Yes, you did. I'll give you guys some feed in a minute. It's bedtime, chickens. Let's go. Come on. girls. Get them all? I think so. The buff never leaves. She's old. She's old and she's just decided she just stays in here all day. Yeah, she just sits on the roost all day. She might be like seven years old. He does have eggs under there. He usually keeps them warm. The cat is sitting on eggs. Mm -hmm. Oh, nope, there's one. That's a big one. It is. Hi, baby. I don't think you'll be able to catch one. I know. All right, we got the sheep in the barn for the night. We're just gonna fill up their water and then we're done here. So if you look behind me, you can see how green hey. the pasture is starting to turn. The, the grass is coming in. It's actually, All right. Good night. it's probably starting to come in quick enough that it's gonna outpace what the animals are gonna be eating it. So we probably won't be feeding hay really much longer, but it's definitely feeling like spring around here. 
All right, we're gonna head to the other barn. We're gonna feed the other animals. We basically gotta, we'll run in there real quick, throw some feed down and get them to go in the barn. As soon as they're in, we, we close the door on them to, to lock them in for the night. We kind of trick them to going in the barn, basically. They're, they're running already. They're running quick. down here. We gotta beat them. Oh, they're halfway here. Hurry, hurry, hurry. You're not going to make it. <laughs> oh, you're not going to make it. They're already here. Well, it's not the big ones. So. Here come the big ones. It's like a circus. Most of it's in the bottom of that protein tub, which they have completely ate already. Larry, he didn't save you any. I didn't save you anybody, sorry. He likes to be hand fed. And I wonder why he likes to be hand fed. <laughs> hmm? you, like... He's sad. Yeah. Go get you. Come here, come here, Larry. Come here. Get you some. There you go. Come on, eat. He can't eat all those bowls. He needs hand fed. He's going to have to learn how to be an animal, <laughs> how to be a sheep. No, he wants me. I know. <laughs> there you go. Is this close enough to hand feeding? I know. It's in a bowl. What's the deal? It's like he wants it out of the container. Yeah, but that thing's probably hard to eat out of. He ain't even eating it. He's just like smelling it. You want me to put it in my hand? There you go. Yeah. Now he's eating. Uh oh, them. here they are. Oh my goodness. Out. Oh, I got Target rushed by all four of them. Sorry, buddy. She wants the top of her head behind her. Behind what? Her horns scratched. Scratch? Yeah. What do you think, Ellie? I don't know if I'm doing it right. Am I doing it right, sweetheart? Well, she hasn't turned you away, so. Yeah, she hadn't. She's liking it. Yeah. Yeah. She's particular where you're allowed to scratch her. Mm-hmm. And the way you scratch her. Because yeah. if you don't scratch her right, she she shakes her head at you and she makes mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. Don't you, sweetheart? So you probably won't see me in very many videos for the next like month a month and a half because it's morel mushroom season coming up people have already been finding them if you have found them in illinois put what county you found them in because <laughs> i'm trying to track when they're coming to our county my aunt has found some and i've been looking on our property every day a couple times a day haven't found any yet but once it starts i will be in the woods looking for mushrooms that is all she will do on her free time that's right. Every day she'll be looking for mushrooms. Yes. I'll still get her in the videos, but <laughs> I may have to go mushroom hunting with her to get her in one. But yeah, it is that time of year. Rebecca's favorite time of year. Yes. Yeah. But anyway, we uh, we did our chores just a little bit early. Normally the sun just went down. We would have done it. We would have started doing the chores right now. But Rebecca wanted to relax and, and have a movie night. Yep. So. That's it for this one, guys. Hope you guys have a great day. We'll see you in the next one.